Hey guys, Tom Mabe here. I promise you, new prank next week. Look, I normally don't do this. I would never put a podcast on the main channel. But Tom Green, you know Tom Green, prank master, swung by the comedy compound today. And I'm like, dude, I gotta, I gotta show your new channel to my fans. So check out his channel and check out this little interview we did. Love you guys. New prank next week. Promise. Hey, welcome to We Talk Funny in Kentucky. Uh, wow, this is amazing. Guess who's in the, uh, the comedy compound? Tom Green, how you doing, buddy? Tom, how are you? Good to be here. <laughs> Tom and Tom, together at last. You've heard of Bob and Tom. We yeah. can be Tom and Tom. I know, I was just on Bob and Tom. I was just in uh, Indianapolis doing stand-up there. And now I'm here. Uh, Where were you at? Were you at Crackers? Or? I was at Crackers, yeah. In that's a great yeah, club. I'm in Louisville. You're, you're in Louisville now? Yeah, yeah. You got a show coming up tonight in Louisville. Yeah, yeah, that's how f uh, I keep moving. I don't know what city I'm in half the time. Yeah, I'm in Louisville tonight, and then I'm in Dayton tomorrow night. One night or tonight at uh, the Laughing Derby. So it's going to be... One, one, show, one show tonight or two shows tonight? Uh, two shows tonight. Two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow night. So, uh, I'm having so much fun touring, and I love being in Louisville, love being in Kentucky. You're like a trucker hauling jokes, man. You're everywhere. Yeah, traveling around. So, so real quick, so tonight is Friday. It's Friday the 13th. Is that what this is? Yeah, it's good luck. Yep. So, yeah, so all, the, all of our friends in Nashville, Ohio, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, Louisville, come out and uh, check out Tom Green at the Laughing Derby. So, what else is happening? Uh, well, you know, it's, I'm having fun wandering around your studio here, just uh, looking around, peering into rooms full of microphones <laughs> and cameras. And, uh, it, it really kind of reminds me of what I'm doing uh, in my life. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm seeing a mirror image of my life. You know, I'm back in Los Angeles. I'm building a television studio myself right now. Oh, it's I, beautiful. You show me pictures. That's amazing. Man. Yeah, I just started uh, this new show uh, on TomGreen.com, and it's on my YouTube channel. Right. Uh, YouTube.com slash TomGreen, my YouTube channel. Yeah, so you're, uh, you're uh, so that's right, YouTube channel. YouTube.com forward slash Tom Green. Oh, is it forward slash? I think it may be. Okay, I'll, put, got, I'll put a link in the description. We got to get the slash right, or nobody knows. No, where they to go. Know, yeah, that's awesome. They'll go to the completely <laughs> wrong place. But no, it's 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 uh, it's really cool. I mean, I love independent broadcasting. I've always uh, uh, done that, and um, and uh, so I'm having a great time with it, you know. And uh, yeah, I want you to send me some viewers. I will. I will send you viewers. And uh, you know, I was t I was telling you when you first came in. I, I've been a Tom Green fan forever. I'm, I'm older than you, but I got a record deal with Virgin Records back in late '90s. And uh, my first autograph that I ever signed, some guy came and said, "Hey, Tom." I go, "Yeah, yeah, man." He said, "Dude, I'm a huge fan." And I thought he was talking about my CD, The Revenge, on the Telemarketers. Uh -huh. and, and I go, "Ah," oh. he said, "Can I have your autograph?" Oh, yeah, my well, first autograph. So we grabbed a napkin from the bar, and, and, he, and I'm halfway signing this, and he goes. Man, how did you get that MTV gig? Yeah. Like, and I said, oh, it's the wrong Tom. And that's when I start finding out about you and stuff, and just fell in love with your work. And uh, you got so many things. You're touring. You got a. You just showed me an interview with. A, it was it Cuban? Who's the guy that the Access? Yeah, I had a, I had, I've been doing a show with Access TV, uh, where I basically have doing been doing this talk show. Uh, so I've had all sorts of great guests on there. And uh, yeah, and uh, didn't you present talking. Weird Al with a uh, his first like number one plaque? What was that? Was that yeah, one? yeah? I, uh, Weird Al was on the show last year, and uh, he had he had just gone number one on Billboard, but he'd not seen it yet. And we contacted Billboard right before he got to the studio, got uh, his very first Billboard chart, had it framed for him, and I presented it to him wow. on, on the air, and uh, <laughs> that was really cool. That, that video sort of uh, you know was a, a nice moment because I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Weird Al. I grew up loving his music and his comedy, and uh, and uh, to be able to sort of have that moment with him where he almost teared up a little bit when he was yeah I saw it, that it was pretty amazing. Now I, I, my daughter and I were at VidCon last year, and I saw you know. A, ton of big YouTubers, uh, Roman Atwood, Vitaly, Dennis Rohde, Greg Benson, a whole bunch of people. And you were just having lunch over there. You were with some somebody having lunch at the hotel yeah. in, in Anaheim. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, boy, boy, do you have a lot of fans. Yeah. How, how do you eat? How do you manage to, I mean, without being totally rude to people, hey, nice meeting you. I mean, how, how do you, <laughs> I, I felt bad for you because I, I didn't come up to you, but a lot of people just kept on coming up while you're trying to have lunch. Yeah. Uh, you know, should should have come and said hi. Uh, you know, it's uh, I like meeting people. I mean, I I think it's why I got into doing comedy was I like people. I like uh, you know, traveling. I like right. touring. It's so much fun about doing stand up. You know, every night I get to party with a bunch of people in a different city every night and tell jokes and have some beers and it's a good time. So, you know, I uh, I enjoy it and uh, I I uh, you know I started doing my show years ago and I know when that started happening it was a little bit. 
um, you know, of an adjustment learning right. to, to have to how to talk to people all the time. And, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I can be a little bit, uh, you know, uh, I get some social anxiety sometimes. Oh, okay, okay. But, uh, but I've, uh, I've gotten over that. You know, I, I really like uh, getting to meet everybody. And uh, So initially, was it a tad overwhelming when you were getting, you know, you were became, you know, doing the movies and everything was, a you know, back with Freddie Got Finger and this, yeah. all these great things. Was it with the social anxiety? Uh, how did you overcome that? And was it ever like, just get away from me? Yeah, not really. I mean, I don't know if it's really, I don't know if I really have clear clinical social anxiety, mm-hmm. but I just sort of, you know, sometimes I, uh, you know, I'm not always sure what to say to people, but you know, no, I like it. I like it. I mean, people have, have their favorite sketches that, that they've seen, their favorite mm-hmm. pranks that I've done, right. favorite movies. You know, jokes, things that they they enjoy, and they come up and tell me, but talk to me about it all the time. I like it. I love, I love, love seeing the people. Now, you like like myself. You, you're doing stand up as well, and, and I don't know about you, but out of everything I've done, and there's, you know, it's where I heard someone say, you know, a lot of people drive 45 minutes to work eight hours. We'll travel eight hours to work 45 minutes, and if the, if the audience is on, man, there's nothing more magical than that social that that warmth you get from a. A hot audience. Do you do you thrive on it? Do you like that or? Oh yeah, I love it. I love the I love the live uh, performance. Uh, the, everything I get from it, you know, it's uh, it's such a great energy. I get an adrenaline rush from it. I'm addicted to it. Yeah, it's it's like a drug, isn't it? It yeah. is. It's, the high is so much better than any other thing when you got that hot audience. You ever experience just like a. A drunk audience, or just like, oh, geez, I want this to be looking at you. You stop having fun like 15 sometimes, minutes ago. Sometimes the late show Friday night, people are too drunk. Uh, I don't like to discourage drinking because I, you know, I, I, I want people to ha- have fun and be drunk. No, um, <laughs> honestly, I, I prefer the audience not to be wasted because right. I, I like when people are actually listening to what I say, mm-hmm. you know, which is most of the time. But uh, sometimes the late show Friday, people tend to have a, they've been working all week. This right. you, this is the th- it's interesting the things you learn about the human condition when you start doing stand up comedy. Like you, you, you notice, oh, Friday night the Late Show, they're drunker mm-hmm. than Saturday night the Late Show. Why would that be? Well, you know, people work all week, then after work on Friday they're tired. They go out for dinner and drinks with their their coworkers, mm-hmm. and then they go to the comedy show. So they're tired and they've been drinking, and now the Late Show. They're drunk. Whereas yeah. on Saturday, people have slept all day, right. uh, and they don't necessarily, uh, you know, get as tired and drunk on Saturday night. Right. That's what Steve Martin. They said, "Why did you get out of stand up?" He said, "Second show Friday." Oh yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He talks about that in his book, Born Standing Up. Actually. Yeah, that's a great book. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, it's it's interesting, and uh, but uh, it, I, I like I like a rowdy crowd too, though. I'm not somebody to say, "Hey, you know, come to my show sober" or anything like that. I want people to have a, <laughs> I want people to have a good time, and uh, I like it when it gets a little rowdy. I, I just have to do it different kind of show when it, when it gets rowdy. Right, right. There's a, yeah, there's there's two shows. There's a club act, there's a corporate act, there's a drunk act for the drunks out there. They get you know, they, they, they like shiny things or ADD kicking yeah. out. You've got to go bam, bam, bam. Tell, now, my viewers on YouTube, uh, you're, you're just kind of starting out with this new channel. Tell... Tell my YouTube buddies what they can find on your channel. What's yeah. going to be on there? All right, YouTube buddies. Uh, well, first of all, everybody, uh, you can go uh, on my YouTube channel. I've got a lot of my old uh, pranks that I did uh, from 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 back in the day on there. Mm-hmm. Some of my favorite classic bits. Uh, there's a ton of content on there. There's also some uh, some footage from my uh, internet talk show that I did in my living room. Right, right. Uh, and now there's this brand new show that I'm starting. We're building the studio right now. And uh, you, you can call into the show. We're actually just setting up the uh, the Skype system now where people are going to be able to call in on Skype. Oh, that's nice. And you can call on the phone. And you can talk to my celebrity guests and my weird and wacky guests. And we're going to be streaming all the time, doing live shows. If you follow me on Twitter... <laughs> Uh, you can uh, the, the camera fell. That's kind of cool, though. That's nice, right? Uh, yeah, it'll be a cool shot when it fell. <laughs> We're back. Um, you know, I uh, uh, you can, if you follow me on Twitter at Tom Green Live, every time I go live uh, on on the channel, uh, then you can I'll, I'll send out a tweet okay. and I'll send out a tweet with a phone number, and you can actually phone me. I do a podcast too. So you so even if you're recording, you'll tweet that hey, we're recording now. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's it's that's fun. the smart. That's yeah, smart. I have a podcast that I do as well. It's all actually if you go to TomGreen.com, you can link to everything. And there's a actual podcast like this, a radio type right, podcast, right. audio podcast. And I'll I'll send out my cell phone number, and you can just call me on my cell phone, and I'll uh, I'll talk to you. So you inspire me. You you have I saw one of your clips. Pamela Anderson was on one of your shows. I don't know if your podcast, but you, you were doing something out of your living room. Yeah. yeah. See, I want to do the same thing. It's like in the shower with Tom Mabe. And yep. all my guests are just supermodels, like yep. Pamela. <laughs> so so do me a favor, guys. Uh, tonight, Friday the 13th, uh, 
check out Tom Green at the Laughing Derby. Two shows. Is it like 7, 15, and 10 or something? Yeah. No, 502 2 for those guys in Cincy and Indy and Nashville. Area code 502 459 and you're going to be in Wiley's in Dayton tomorrow. Yeah, and actually I have some shows coming up in Nashville in a few weeks, too. At, at Zanies? Uh, at Zanies. Oh, so, great club. You'll so, love that club. So get your tickets for that now, too, Nashville. Have yeah. them put you in the, in the condo. they got a beautiful uh, comedy condo over there. It's right okay. across from the club. All right. Yeah, so. Oh, that sounds good. Tom, thanks for swinging by, man. It was an honor. All right. Thank you. I appreciate right, it.